Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about probiotic rich food options of routine life. Improving the gut bacterial health is the key, not only to improve your digestive problems like IBS, DGBI and constipation, but also to achieve and maintain weight loss for the people who are obese. And the only way to improve your gut bacterial health is by incorporating probiotic rich food options in your routine diet on a regular basis. Relying on probiotic commercial options like probiotic tablets, probiotic yogurt, probiotic milk, probiotic drinks will not work. This may be a good option to improve your certain medical health conditions on a short term basis but they are not likely to improve your gut bacterial health on a long term basis. So here are some of the routine food options which are rich in probiotic which you can incorporate in your routine diet on a regular basis. So the very first option over here is curd, buttermilk or raita. Curd is a very commonly and routinely available probiotic food item. When a healthy spices like ajwain or cumin is added either to curd or buttermilk, it will further help to improve your gut bacterial health. Also, the addition of certain vegetables or roots like sweet potato or yam, when added to curd, it will make a very good combination of free and probiotic. Although curd and uh, buttermilk are the food items which are consumed on a regular basis and though it provides a large number of healthy gut bacteria, but relying only on curd will not help to improve the variety of uh, gut bacterial species. So you must incorporate different options of probiotic Though not on a daily basis, but once in a while you should incorporate to improve your gut bacterial health. The next option over here is pickle and fermented vegetables. Pickles are another good source of probiotic and is a common food item of our routine diet. Pickle will add to the variety of uh, probiotic bacterial species and hence consuming once in a while is beneficial. If oil and salt is a matter of your concern, if we are talking about uh, pickles, then you can consider the alternative options like uh, fermented vegetables, fermented lemon, fermented uh, turmeric, uh, fermented avla, also known as gooseberries. These are also the good alternative options to the pickles. But if we want to have probiotic benefit of pickles, you just need to have a very small quantity so that oil and salt will not be a big concern. The another good source of probiotic that we are going to discuss over here is of uh, white butter also known as makhan and raw cheese. Over here we would like to make it very clear that we are not talking about the commercially available packed and processed cheese and butter that is available in the market as they are not uh, helping in improving the gut bacterial health. Rather, the overconsumption of such commercially available cheese and butter leads to the gut dysbiosis and may even harm your gut bacterial health due to the overprocessing done on it as well as uh, due to the use of preservative in its preparation. Although in India, it is difficult to find raw cheese as well as the people are not skilled to prepare cheese at home. So over here we can consider the options of white buttermilk either prepared at home or available from the local dairy. Over here I would also like to emphasize that the makhan that is used a couple of days after its preparation and kept outside at a normal room temperature improves the probiotic content of makhan. So don't hesitate to have makhan prepared a couple of days prior. The another food item that we would like to discuss over here is curd rice and panda bhat. Talking about curd rice, it is a very popular food item from south. 
most of all the people in India must be aware about it. And the another food item is Panta Bhat, which is a staple and a very popular food item from West Bengal, which is usually prepared by soaking and fermenting cooked rice overnight. Uh, those people who are belonging from this areas must be aware about this food items. But for those people who are not knowing, you can definitely uh, find out the recipes and uh, try to prepare this at home and try to incorporate into your regular diet. The next option over here is of chutneys. Uh, so chutneys by itself is not a source of probiotic. But uh, chutneys when consumed after a few days of its preparation or if uh, not kept always in a refrigerator will make it a good source of probiotic. So occasionally consuming such chutneys in a small quantity will help to add to the variety of bacterial species in your gut. Another option is sprouts or germinated grains. Again, a very good source of probiotics as well as protein. When uh, the sprouts or germinated grains are consumed along with the vegetables or curd in the form of salad, it uh, helps to increase the amount of nutrients along with the probiotics. And for the best health benefit, it is advised to consume this without being cooked. So what we want to say over here is that any form of cooking will destroy the vitamins as well as the live bacteria present in the food item. Another option is ripened fruits. Any fruits that are over ripened provides a good source of probiotic. Not to say that you should start consuming ripened fruits but once in a while if the fruit is partly ripened rather than discarding it completely as a spoiled one you can actually uh, consume them as a source of probiotic. Of course, the ripened fruits will not be giving you the same amount of uh, nutrients like vitamins as the fresh one gives and hence it is not advisable to have ripened fruits as a matter of routine. The another option that we would like to discuss over here is of idli, dosa, handwa, doklas and curries made out of curd. Often all of these food items are promoted as a very good source of probiotic. But uh, once it is cooked, the live bacteria present in them are destroyed and hence they can't help to improve the gut bacterial health. But of course they have uh, metabolites and some chemicals uh, produced because of these bacteria during the process of fermentation and hence they do help to have a temporary relief to some of your digestive symptoms but yes due to the lack of live bacteria they do not have lasting effect on your gut bacterial health. To summarize you must incorporate different natural and traditional food items with good probiotic content in them. Also you must try to have different options of probiotic to enrich the good bacterial species in your gut. And over here, you must understand that this is not a one-time effort, but a constant endeavor to improve and maintain your gut as well as your overall health.